Ladies and gentlemen of the board, I'd like to thank you very much for having me here today. I uh, have been cooking this for like three to five years in my head, and I once again thank you for this opportunity to present it to you. Here is my vision, come with me. <laughs> what I see is this, a grown man, naked, mid-forties, laying on a bed, wearing nothing but a clown nose. Are you with me? Good, fantastic, stay. <laughs> grown adult, naked man, wearing nothing but a clown nose, some sort of weird haircut, maybe a buzz cut, maybe a bowl cut. You're the board, that could be GBD, all right? All right, you with me so far? Still perfect. All right, grown, adult, naked man wearing nothing but a clown nose on a table with a bowl cut. And here's the really fun part. Here's where the kids come in. <laughs> the kids come in, and what they do is, um, <laughs> they take bones out of the naked man with a clown nose's body. <laughs> but here's the catch. If they don't do it with enough precision, they get mildly electrocuted. <laughs> That's it! Thank you, that was my impression of the original pitch for the children's game, Operation. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a beautiful crowd tonight. Look at all the lovely human shields we've got. What's up, ladies? Yes. <laughs> That's right, I live in New York City now. I came back to visit you guys and perform. Very excited to be here. Very excited, living in New York, when we found out about Osama, it went nuts out there. And uh, people, you know, you probably shouldn't make fun of dead people, but here we go. What's the difference between Osama bin Laden and my watch? Not only does my watch have a face, it's water resistant. <laughs> Actually, when he died, I played this game where I'm like, they're going to make an action movie out of this. They're going to. It's America. They're going to make a movie at some point, and they'll have, like, Steven Seagal or probably Schwarzenegger be, like, one of, one of the SEALs. And I was like, I want to write the cheesiest line that, like, Schwarzenegger would say right before he killed Osama. And the best I could come up with was, uh, Looks like you'll never face Mecca again. <laughs> Do you want to watch Face Up? <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Face it. <laughs> Guys, non-human shields, listen to this. Here's a fun little thing for you. Here's a fun little game for you. Next time you have to take a piss, and you go to the men's room, and they have the dividers at the urinals, and the, there's a guy standing to the right of you. Here's a little fun thing to do. Uh, just turn your head three degrees to the right. And in your whisper voice, just say this. Hey, I can't see it. But what you're doing sounds spectacular. That's it. You're going to have an awesome time after that. Nothing can go wrong with that. I live in New York City, uh, and I, I ride the subway. And uh, last week, uh, like, there's a lot of crazy stuff that you see on the subway. Uh, but the normal stuff, the, the bus, like, you know, you see the guy in the Hawaiian, the Korean in the Hawaiian shirt doing cocaine off of a midget and the hobo jerking off to it. And it's like, okay, that's a, you know, Saturday morning. <laughs> um, I saw this lady in her, like, 30s reading a book, and the book was called How to Make Small Talk. I wanted to go over to her so bad and be like, how is it? Where'd you get that? How's your day going? But then I noticed that she was on the first chapter. And I was like, I don't want to ruin the ending. Spoiler alert, we're doing it. Ladies often ask me how long I can last in bed. Hey, yeah. I always tell them the same thing. Hey, Sam. How long can you last in bed? Well, depending on how long someone brings me food and water, possibly years. It takes a village to raise
raise a child. No, it doesn't. Whoever said that hasn't heard of uh, the Bible. There's an instruction manual in the Bible. You don't need to get an abortion either. What you do if you have a baby out of wedlock, you find a basket, you put the baby in it, you find a river, and you let that shit work itself the fuck out. <laughs> God approved. <laughs> Uh, I had a girlfriend once who told me she didn't believe in blowjobs. Didn't believe in blowjobs! Told her I didn't believe in the Easter Bunny, I still got a shit ton of candy. <laughs> Talk to it, Peter Cottontail. <laughs> Used to do a lot of drugs. I have the uh, stoner machine gun left. <laughs> I hate the war on drugs, though. It's such a poorly fought war. McGruff, the crime-fighting dog, is your spokesman? Whoever, it, people running the war on drugs, don't have your spokesman be a talking cartoon dog. Because that's really funny when I'm high. Hey, Sam. How's he know my... Hey, Sam. How about take a bite out of crime? Arr. Hey, McGruff. Why don't you smoke a joint and then just eat the whole thing? <laughs> Not so much. I uh, have these piercings, and I bet you guys are wondering where they came from. Well, when I was 17, I got really stoned, and I'm like, I'm going to be a badass. So I went to the Mall of America, went to Marie Claire, and said, two of your finest, please. Boom, here we go. Haven't looked back since. Uh, and in New York, I saw someone... Uh, who had three lip piercings. I was jealous of it, but they were equidistant. They were e equally spaced apart. It took everything within my power not to attach a shower curtain. <laughs> I'll leave you guys with this, and thank you so much for having me. Uh, I used to do a lot of drugs. I used to do hardcore drugs, and this is uh, completely true. I was addicted to heroin for a year, and that's a really, really terrible, terrible drug. Uh, I lost a lot of good friends, I lost jobs, I have family members who still won't speak to me to this day. But uh, the absolute worst part of the entire thing was that I never even learned how to play jazz. <laughs> I'm just saying if you chase a dragon you should be able to play eight bars of Coltrane. Thank you. Yes. And the worst the worst part was I went cold turkey and so I couldn't tell if it was withdrawal or if I had jazz hands. <laughs> it made it really hard to play Operation. <laughs> My name is Sam Grinder. Thank you very, very much, Acme. I appreciate it.